No, since there should be pretty much exactly one day left on this uh, Lamborghini Aventador SV Coupe event left. I just said I'd give a video on these regarding the J50 and the VLF Force 1. Just if you're grinding out the blueprints for this car because it is one of the support cars required for the Jesco event. But it's been featured in two separate car hunts before so a lot of long term players will probably have this one. But just in case you're like short of it and if you want to get as many blueprints as possible for this car because it is a top speed powerhouse especially like you'll find in multiplayer that this a rank car can catch up with quite a few of the s ranks especially things like the fxk and the senna it'll beat them outright in terms of that straight line speed so it's definitely one to chase after and like i said as the added bonus of being used in the jesco event although the main killers for that's probably going to be the Janetta and the uh, sin but yeah, just taking a look here with the uh, Force 1 V10. And yeah, my car is missing about 700 rating off the max on this, but it should still be more than capable of getting that 40 seconds required for the blueprint. This car comes from the chain of events, from the b Stacks, the Cadillac CN, then the Force V1, and then it goes on to unlock the Tryon. But uh, yeah, you want to be kind of getting on top of those events all the time if you're missing this entire chain of cars. Because, yeah, you need the uh, the BMW M4 unlocks the uh, Beast, then the Beast unlocks the Cadillac, then the Cadillac unlocks the Force, and then the combination of all those together unlock that uh, Tryon. Yeah, I normally wouldn't use Nitro on that first uh, area coming through here, but it's just a case of if the AI is going to kind of impact into the side of you, just quickly double tap an imperfect Nitro just to get them off your case, kind of. And once you're in top speed, uh, don't have too much nitro along here, but still, like I said, this is a version of this card 700 rating of the max tuned that you can get with this guy. And you will be well capable of breaking that with two and a half seconds to spare. And again, it's just one of those ones of if you've got that car kind of tuned down a bit less, you might have a small bit more trouble with the um, the nitro kind of there, but still two and a half seconds using that path that makes use of those two ramps. And even with that, that was with um, AI interference kind of at the start. So if the AI aren't gonna bump you as you're going into those tunnels, just keep onto that nitro so you don't have to do quite as much drifting on that first straight. No, and the other car featured here is the Ferrari J50, which I have maxed out with the exception of the Epic import parts included. I just never bothered to install them after its car hunt riot was finished. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty nifty car. It's appeared in a couple of the uh, car hunts. And I'm fairly sure its blueprints appear in a few of the different packs which kind of have uh, random cars. I don't think this is like linked to a particular event. I don't think so anyway. I think this is one that's like freely available. They, as always, like if there's ever a race which offers you a blueprint in Asphalt 9 Legends, you should do it. And I know if you're a new player, you're like, but all the races offer blueprints. No, trust me, they don't. <laughs> Once you start getting on a bit in your garage, you'll find that loads of the events are just there for import parts and, uh, yeah, grinding of credits. Like, our trade tokens. But again, just looping over those two ramps there. Once car is in max speed, just a single tap nitro up to here. Double tap for the ramp. Didn't have too much nitro, but still, like, this car is very, very overtuned, I know, in comparison to a lot of people's um, garages, but still, you're talking about two and a half seconds to spare there. Get a 360 across the line. But, uh, yeah, it's just like, as long as you're following those two ramps, you should be fine with this event. I know it is the final day for it, but I figure a lot of people will probably have this car or be kind of grinding this away since I do have videos up of this one previously as well from the last of it. And it is like uh, there's been comments and stuff left on those, but say like just for the touch drive factor of it, it's really, really easy. Like the Grand Sport and the Hurricane Spider Evo can both touch drive this when they're kind of like getting towards that golden maximum rank. But at the same time, they like the Apollo N, the Grand Sport, and the Hurricane can also like grind this one out with a fairly easy enough run. Like I say, I know this one's on the final day, but I do have videos previously up about this. But it's just a nice to know kind of thing. Just 
if you happen to be stumbling across this video and the next time they include this but yeah if you just tap left here for this one then imperfect nitro onto that ramp and then tap right to the imperfect we'll continue on to the next back to a single tap for here if you want to do management of this i mean like the goal is 43 seconds up to um imperfect air and then just let the car like drive around the left hand side and the perfect across the normal one across the line but yeah like that's possible to do it with five seconds to spare if you're doing a bit of uh, nitro management and stuff and if you have that car golded you can leave it completely run this and it should like kind of about i'd say 19 times out of 20 it would get it perfect there is those odd times where the ai will just run into a wall at the very very start uh, but if you wanted like this one was mostly uh touch drivable with the hurricane like i said or the grand sport the apollo n can do this run but it definitely needs the adjustment to send it onto those uh, ramps but yeah it's the last day of it but hopefully like i say if people have it mostly grind it out be upgrading it as well obviously because you'll need that car max tuned at the max blueprints for about i think it's about five more days or so until we need that for the jesco event and it doesn't need to have the epic import parts installed but it will need to have pretty much all the tuning done to it and all of the regular import parts and the class specific import parts like those ones for the a class car but yeah like i said not the epic import parts but okay i'll leave it at that hopefully happy hunting the last of these blueprints for anyone who's uh, grabbing them sub button over my head and other videos for me here and here really appreciate it if you click that one going towards the 500 mark hey <laughs>